Yeah. I am gonna make a super easy, wicked indulgent dessert. Oh, damn! I think we should just run away with them. Again, back in the kitchen with Derek. He's having a bit of a coughing fit here Sorry. because <laughs> there's so many desserts on the table and it's, you know, making him... It's crazy. You know, and, and Joey's dad jokes are killing me. Yeah. My heart is actually beating a little faster now because uh, there's so much sugar on the table and I'm like, ooh, what's <laughs> going on really. here? So basically, we're doing this little series here of cooking and we got big guns in Derek because, you know, we were exposing... Well, I've been exposing um, some of the farms and uh, the nature of animal agriculture in the UK particularly, so we wanted to give some people who didn't want to support that some options. Mm. But before we start with the recipe, Derek, what do we got? Oh yeah, we have What have we got on the table here? Look, Wicked really does lend itself well to the more indulgent side of things. So, you know, for Christmas, for instance, we have the, the Wicked Christmas pudding. We have a Wicked Christmas ice cake. Nice. They're, yeah, they're amazing. So these just came out for seasonal for Christmas. Okay, okay. And, and then, uh, what do we got here? So our new things, we have the new, um, these cookies are great with tea or coffee, I, I tend to eat. I, I don't suggest eating a whole box at once, but I, I mean, I can't. Every do, now and then. I can't like... say that I haven't done it in the past. They're so good, my favorite would be the double chocolate, double, double. Double trouble. I'll give you some. I don't know where that other one went, but we'll continue, shall we? <laughs> yeah, I like this. Okay, okay. And, and then we got, got, what are they? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. So, particularly my favorite seasonal, new seasonal product would be these gingerbread cupcakes. Man, they're so good. And then we also have the all year round chocolate cupcakes. Stop the music for a second. You can try one Is of those that a one. mini gingerbread man yeah. on the. There's so a good. mini gingerbread man. He looks cool as hell. Hey guys, it's so me, good. a mini gingerbread <laughs> so, boy. Uh, Okay, well, enough so of that. Good. Yeah, um, and then these are for the tea cakes. I know a lot of the, some of these are like definitely UK flavors, like gold baked, shimmer baked bakewell like, slices. Yeah, super nice, really inexpensive, great with tea. Chocolate orange slices. Yeah, I've been drinking. I drink. I tend to drink coffee, but I know it's a big tea drinking culture here, and these are amazing. So what too. you can do is you could make your little cup of tea. You get the uh, barista, the oldie, exactly. You know, and then you you basically <laughs> set so you can have a little yarn. You can have a little gossip, you know, with the neighbors and have a little tea cake and a bit of oatly. <laughs> good story. And, and, then uh, we, and we have the uh, our jazzy jam filled biscuits. Nice. Yeah, and those are delicious. And then we also have the Christmas biscuits. I just couldn't, they were sold out when I went to Tesco last night to, to shop for all this stuff. If you don't have Wicked in your country, I feel sorry for you, but it's probably coming there soon, or you can find some great stuff if you just yeah, look, look around. Look around. Yeah. I am gonna make a super easy, Wicked Indulgent. All right, so we have these amazing ice creams. Like, I'm super proud of the ice creams. So it's a lupin based, which allows it to be super creamy, and it's more nutritious, but the cream, it's all about the texture and cream factor for me. And, and What is lupin, is that a bean? Yeah, it's a bean, so it's a very high protein. Lupini? Lupini. This is the Italian. Lupini. Lupini the beans are in a little exactly. skin and you pop them out. Exactly. My grandma used, my nonna used so to give me these. Very high protein content. And instead of using soy and pea for everything, it's, there's actually, it's very nutritious and the texture, it really lends itself well. And then obviously the, the fresh version. So sold in in-store bakery in Tesco, we have the fresh chocolate. So these ones, what's the difference? Fresh in the uh, package. So these ones are ambient. More, uh, put them in your cupboard. Longevity. Staple. Yeah, this is only, they're good for a couple of days. <laughs> and that's just, and they're super, not gonna last a couple of days Super even. fresh and chewy, crumbly, good with tea. I know you might think, oh, it's just ice cream and cookies. We're gonna make ice cream cookie sandwiches, but I'm just gonna show you this one technique that'll change the way you do it. Wow. All right, okay. so, <laughs> so, will you do me a favor and open those? We're going to Technique Town. I feel like we're, I'm a magician right now when you're my assistant. Yes. Can you open the package for me? <laughs> Just like this? Yeah. As you can see, it's a normal package of cookies. Now you don't have to do this part. I am gonna warm my knife up a little bit. So just over the flame. Okay, going to Cookie Town? Yeah, four. So we'll make four of this, four of this. Here. And we gotta make some for Jimmy, the sound guy over there. 
Although, I don't know if I'm going to let him try these because we might just want to eat these all for ourselves. No, I think we should just <laughs> run away with them. I think so. I think you're going to love these. So, we have mint chocolate chip. So, the reason why the different colored packaging, this is an original recipe. This came out a little bit after we came out with the ice cream. So, we've just kept this in the, until we switch to the different packaging. Okay, okay. Okay, so we have birthday cake ice cream, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And then mint chocolate chip, another one of my favorites. Which one, one would you like? Oh, God, you know what? I'm gonna have to go the birthday cake. Okay, so I'll, when I plan to make sandwiches, I'll buy a couple packs of these and I'll just make a good amount of these and wrap them up and keep them in the fridge. You shape. keep ice cream sandwiches in your fridge? Not for long, but I do, but I do try to do it. Yeah. So it's funny, because if you make these in the morning, then you're less likely to eat them after you're full. Yeah, of, of yeah, okay. Breakfast. But if you do it in the evening like me, then they're They're, they're, they're gonna they're be done. gone. They're done in. But check this out. So I literally would take a warm knife and done. Wow. And then push that out. Did you see that? That was some samurai stuff. That is one. So careful if you do this, the knife is warm. So. so that's how you get a perfect sandwich. Slice cream. Slice cream. And then if you want a big one, <laughs> if you want to do like a Mad Max. Oh, damn! Now look at that. <laughs> that's going to be for Jimmy. <laughs> that's like... The that Grand is, Master is, Oreo. I'm gonna have to Look get a picture of you with that. Hold on, shall we? <laughs> this is an Oreo <laughs> final boss. That is ace. So, and we can do it with the mint chocolate chip one. I don't want to do the bottom, so I'll do the top because I won't cut all of it up and maybe I'll eat some regular. Who knew you could slice up ice cream and eat it like a sandwich? As long as it's super cold, it works. There you go. So then, if you don't mind throwing this Is way. there a then after this? Oh my lord. Yeah, then I save. So look, even if I can save that for later. Okay. A little mini version. I just wrap them up. If you want to save them for later, which we're not going to save too many of them, but I would wrap it up for later. So that's how I do it. Oh what, you chuck it in the freezer? Yeah. Just like this. And then you can cut it in half, have it for later. So that's freezer. You Jimmy, you got to do the big one. Yeah, Jimmy, we gotta have you try the big one. I'll cut it in half. I'll cut it in half for you, though. That's it's, a monster. It's a monster. But you deserve it. <laughs> Jimmy's the sound guy. We've been having. If this is your first hi, episode hi, here, hi, 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 hi. Jimmy's been doing the taste test for us because he's not vegan, but uh, he's Look gonna give us his Look at opinion that. on it. Look at that. How much is it, Lucy? <laughs> you can't. No, I mean, it's an ice cream sandwich. Mm. But the ice cream is what I want you to take. Like, what is that? That's a birthday cake. It's crazy, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Mm. It's one of my favorites. What's the inside? What's the feeling? See, it's like it's like birthday little... cake. So literally, birthday cake. You put the we... cake in there. Yeah. It's mm. cake piece. There's cake in the ice cake, cream. Cake and frosting in the ice cream. Oh wow. Mm. Yeah, it's delicious. Really legit. good. And then you have a. <laughs> you guys go. If I didn't know, I wouldn't. Feel, I wouldn't say he's vegan. No, no, I wouldn't be able for to share. Sure. Not at all. And the chocolate cookie is just super mm. indulgent as well. So, so, Jimmy's not vegan. We have yeah. a proposal for Jimmy, don't we? Yeah, while well, we're on camera. We do Veganuary with us. I'm up for it, 100%. Good. We do have Wicked and Plain uh -huh. Chef and Tesco, so I know we'll make it easier I'll follow for the recipes. That deal. Good, I yeah. got that. And everyone's watching too. Exactly. Jimmy's <laughs> doing Veganuary, <laughs> so if you see him at a burger joint, <laughs> he better be having a vegan burger. <laughs> exactly. So there we go, that's it. This ice cream is delicious. It's good, yeah. If you can't get Wicked, you can find vegan ice cream at your local supermarket. I mean, if you don't have vegan ice cream, you can blend up frozen bananas and make... make frozen ready meals. Wow! We've got frozen ready meals too. But uh, you can even bake your own cookies if you've got that type of time. Vegan cookie recipes online everywhere. You might be thinking, well, Joey, I already got my favorite ice cream. It's got dairy in it. Why should I choose the vegan ice cream? Why should I choose the vegan desserts? Well, the reason is if you hold a value that you're against the abuse and cruelty that happens to animals, then it only makes sense to be consistent with that value that you oppose the dairy industry. I've called the dairy industry one of the most cruel and abusive industries on earth, on the, the entire earth. The, the amount of suffering that happens in the dairy industry, maternal trauma from having calves taken away from mothers and calves being executed and, you know, the exploitation, you know, the animals are enslaved and used for their, their milk and uh, mutilated. It's a horrible industry filled with um, a cycle of suffering because they re-impregnate the mother and then they take the calves away again. And 
If you have seen in my Uncovered series, you would have seen images from the, the dairy farm where the, the female calves are in hutches, kept away from their mother. They're calling for each other. They can't, you know, have access to their mother. And that separation from calf away from their mother is, is probably one of the saddest parts of animal agriculture. It happens in many other industries too, like uh, pork and um, it happens in the egg industry too. Uh, eggs being taken away from mothers. But this, particularly in the dairy industry, you really see the mothers calling out for the calves. Horrible industry and they all they all go straight to the slaughterhouse once the farmer has used them for their dairy and they become, you know, not economically viable anymore. They'll just go, will go to get minced up into hamburgers. So this is why we choose dairy-free products. There's environmental costs for dairy as well and health costs to dairy as well. I mean, those two things bolster it, but for me, and I hope you too, it's the incredible suffering that just doesn't need to happen. Mm. You can find all of our stuff on Wicked Healthy YouTube or my Instagram is Derek Sarno Instagram. I follow Joey Carbstrong, obviously. This is so everyone channel. who's watching this on my channel can follow me too. <laughs> follow Joey, <laughs> tell your friends, share it with, share it with them. And uh, it's been amazing, mate. You made some really nice, tasty, delicious, simple recipes. And um, it's really good what you're doing inside these supermarkets, um, you know, so. pushing the vegan stuff. Because, you know, we need people on the demand, you know, demand and talking Solution. to people. to, And then we need people at the top who are supplying the vegan stuff. Because it's easier to say, oh, okay, you know, you should be vegan. But then they go to the supermarket and what do they do? What do they get? What do they eat? Yeah, we got to find uh, solutions for sure. Exactly. So amazing Dude, work. Honor having you. It's been it's, great. It's been a good time, you know. Bring it in now, because I we gotta there you go. Joey Carbstrong, you guys, amazing dude. Love his work. It's amazing. And I know you're jealous because I get to eat this cookie. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. See you later.